Hey Scorpio, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm Crystal. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Um, we're just going to do a little love reading. We're going to pull some cards for you, your person, the situation that's going on, the past, and then the um, future. Okay? So. For you, you have the Hangman and the Nine of Swords. You might be kind of like at a, like a standstill. Things might be a little bit stuck here. Okay? Um, I do feel like you're stressing out or you might be having a hard time sleeping. Um, this might be something that's really taking a toll on you. Okay. With the Empress in the Tower for your person though, I do feel like they are standing more in their power. They're feeling more um, at ease with things, right? Well, the past you have the Devil and the Lovers, but the future you have the Four of Wands and the Five of Cups, which I'm going to clarify the Five of Cups. I feel like your person right now is having an epiphany, okay? The Six of Cups, you have the Four of Wands and the Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords for the future. Two cards talking about reuniting and the Ace of Swords is about truth and clarity, you know, um, conversation, honest conversations and being able to see like uh, a way forward in this, okay? But I do feel like your person right now with the tower, their life might be feeling like it's falling apart. And with the Empress, I feel like they're trying to keep it together, right? For the current, you know, um, state of the relationship, you have two pages. So these are not very, like, strong cards, but they are at the very beginning. So there could be something that's just starting with you and your person, okay? I do feel like this is a very loving, energetic, passionate, lots of chemistry, page of cups, page of wands, right? Through this connection, I feel like um, with pages being messengers too as well, you guys might be um, either messaging people, each other, I'm sorry, or you guys might be getting a lot of signs about each other, like hearing each other's names, I'm um, hearing Derek, okay, um, but yeah, hearing each other's names, maybe there's music that's coming on, um, now in your past, Music that's coming on that reminds you of this person. I don't know if you guys know, but I have like ADHD, so I could barely keep up with my brain. Um, <laughs> and that's why I talk fast sometimes, but I try to keep it a little bit slow for you guys. But um, the lovers and the devil for the past. Two major arcanas. So I do feel like the, somebody was stuck either in another connection, a toxic connection with, another, with a karmic. There could have been a third party thing going on because the devil has three people. The lovers has three people as well in this card. So I do feel like there was like, there could also have been like a really strong obsession um, in the past between the both of you, like constantly thinking about each other constantly. Like there could be a lot of like toxicity as well. Um, why the devil? The magician and the eight of cups. So somebody could have walked away magically, just disappeared. Right? And this could have caused you to kind of like obsess over this person. Like this person could have literally like ghosted you and left you and started brand new. Right? Or went towards somebody else or just went in a totally different direction of what you thought things were going to end up. Right? But I do feel like in the future, the Five of Cups tells me there's a feeling of loss, sadness, and regret. Right? And with the Four of Wands and the Six of Cups, both of these being reconnecting cards, this card literally says, let me take you back. And then the Four of Wands is commitment, marriage, you know, and then the Ace of Swords. I feel like this person is, or whoever is starting to see clearly now, and it's like this is, you know, opening up this path for you guys to be able to come together and make something work. I definitely see a reconnection here. There's a lot of um, sadness. There's a lot of deep feelings involved here and I feel like this person has missed you long enough to where it's like they just like I have to get this person back you know like in a rush is what I'm feeling you have the star card so yeah I do feel like this person you know it's like the stars are aligning for this connection okay I do feel like there's a very strong love here with share between the both of you okay you have the sun as I'm saying this okay so I do feel like you know, in the future, things are going to, you know, start turning, like the wheel's going to turn in your favor. Things are going to start getting better for you, okay, for this connection. The Six of Pentacles, this is about like, you know, um, being in a given um, mood or receiving mood. So I feel like this person's learning how to like open up their heart more and allow love in and also, you know, giving more, 
than what they gave in the past. I do feel like there's a brand new beginning coming in for the both of you. I've seen the Ace of Pentacles earlier, the Ace of Swords, the Sun, you know, the Page of Cups, the Page of Wands. There's a lot of like brand new energy here, but I feel like this is a very deep love. So with the King of Pentacles, I feel like this person is not somebody that likes to chance things. They kind of like um, stay stuck in their ways because it's comfortable. But I feel like it's no longer comfortable because this person's constantly missing you. So it's like you're always on their mind. And Spirit's making sure um, that they keep on, that they you guys don't forget about each other. Because you guys do have something to live out here together. A soul contract. And it's like there's more to this story to unfold. It's like it's not over. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, the, I feel like this is going to be something um, that's worth, you know, giving another shot, okay? The Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Maybe this person might be, and then the Two of Pentacles too as well. If this person's in another connection, they could literally be working like two jobs, saving up money, becoming more independent. With the devil too as well, there could have been a lot of codependency and it's like that's stopping, okay? And this person's more King of Pentacles too as well. It's like they're more focused on like the stability of like their life and, you know, getting their money right and getting themselves right. You know, I did see the star card, which is like healing. So the knight of wands, I feel like this person has a lot of passion for you and the hermit. Yeah, it's like this person was being forced to take some type of action towards reflecting. OK, towards doing better for themselves, towards seeing the things that they tried to block out in the past before. It's like this person has done a lot of self-discovery, a lot of soul searching. If you were wondering what they were doing while they were like missing in action, they were out there figuring shit out, getting their money right, getting themselves back together and healing. OK, so this way when they come back, well, even if they didn't know that's what they were doing it for. Now, when they come back, they're going to be more committed. Okay, the Ace of Swords, it's like, you know, seeing a way through, okay? And this is also, it's like clarity. And the Tower is also like an epiphany. So I feel like this person realized after they lost you that, you know, you're very, you're, you're somebody who's very important in their life that they don't want to miss out on, right? So let's get a timing. The judgment and the queen of pentacles, not really a timing, but it could be like it's in spirit's hands, like they're working on it behind the scenes at the moment, you know, like it could be. Um, and then you have the full, which is the zero card. So this could be like now, this could be pretty soon. Ace of pentacles up to like literally the full and the ace. These are both brand new beginnings, but the ace of pentacles can be like one year. So it could literally be now to one year. But I do feel like it's in spirit's hands. You know, they're working on this behind the scenes. So when this person comes back to you, they're going to be ready to commit. Yeah, and they may even, like, ask you to marry them. Or this might turn into something, you know, like a marriage or something. Like a very strong commitment. I don't think this love has died. I feel like you are stressed out a little bit. Worried that this person is just sitting there not doing anything about it. If you don't, if you're not talking to this person right now and you're, you're not communicating to them, they are doing the work. Okay, I see them doing the work and they're also walking away from things that no longer serve them. If they are in a toxic connection with the devil clarified by the eight of cups and the magician, they are walking away from that as well. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe if you want and I hope you have a great day. Toodles.